<laughs> Ooh, what's this game? This is interesting. Well, I mean, I like Plants vs. Zombies, so... I guess I'll give this a try. Well, before we do that, let's... Look at some pictures of the game. Well, let's, let's see. There's... That. And... And that and the next one I guess it says that looks this looks pretty cool let's see the other ones um oh it's the dark ages from pvc2 huh I love pvc2 that's my favorite game wow there's the zombot from the zombot dark dragon yep I want to give this game a try Right before they start the video, I do have a quick disclaimer. I've played the game. I just can't play it anymore because the download link is now broken. So there will be some gameplay footage from ArcadeGo.com. And yeah, I just want to let you guys know it's not my gameplay footage, but I have played the game. Okay? And I do ha know how to read some of the Chinese. Not all of it. Okay. So now that's out of the way, let's continue. Disclaimer number two. No pun intended. This game is a Chinese game. And it's... Uh, Bad-ish? But not really. It's okay. But that's not why I'm bringing this up for disclaimer number two. The real reason is... I just wanted to let you guys know that I am playing on an Android device, so, yeah. Again, now that this is over, let's get to the actual review, if we can, please. Okay, bye. Well, until you see the review, which is going to come up in a couple seconds, and... Okay, fine, I'll just leave. Okay, can we just get on with the review? Now I'm getting tired of waiting. It's like, jeez. It's taking a long time. Like. Okay, straight off the bat, here the game is. It's a China exclusive, but I found a way to get around that. Bum bum bum! Go to the website you need to download, then poof, it's there on your Android or iOS device. Easy, right? Well, it's only easy when the download link works and. It really doesn't work as it works. Oh, great. Why does it work now? Seriously, why does it work now? Now I guess we need to have a disclaimer number three. Even though the download works, I canceled it because it would take like an hour if you saw that. If you didn't go back in the other part of the video and see that it took like 57 minutes so I'm still not downloading it and uh yeah I'm still capturing footage of it it's gonna be easier that way because I would have to restart the whole game so yeah disclaimer number three hey, bye even though this game was published by EA and yes crazy people that want to know every detail also came home but an Android EA game as an Android beta being sort of good is kind of unusual. And also, something kind of weird to note is my script is on mobile. And it autocorrected it as even though this game was published my, by my ears. Like, an ear, my ears publish games. I wonder what kind of games they make, like, uh, Airwax. Well, one of my favorite parts of the game is the graphics. We'll take a moment to talk about that. The main thing I like, and most people will also enjoy, is the colorfulness in the graphics. I mean, there's lots of graphical glitches, but we'll get to them in a second. Well, like, lots of them. But the graphics are great. It gets a 7.5 out of 10. Like, you know, out of 10. Yeah. Okay. Now onto the plants and zombies. These, the characters themselves are actually quite unique. 
you got to give the game credit for that at least. The game has characters from PvZ1 as well as PvZ2. The game invents new characters based on them being upgraded, but we'll talk about that later. Some of the characters in the game are kind of ununique now because the newest release in the PvZ series, PvZ Heroes, steal some of them. As you can see in the gameplay footage provided on the screen, there are some new characters and the like smaller version of the Walmart is acorn and instead of like sometimes there's completely new plants. Like the Venus flytrap adds like something smaller and different upgrades. So I just want to mention that. And there's also new zombies. Now the game is also based on a story like PvZ2 with time traveling, except with a different gameplay. But basically, uh, the first world you enter is like the modern day world, but in this game is called the American Suburbs. It's a pretty basic tutorial world, but in the past there were some pretty cool events. As you can see in the background, there are some unlockables that you can get to level up your cards, similar to a game called Clash Royale. This concept is also in um, a new update that came out for Plants vs. Zombies 2, and it adds more powerful cards based on upgrades, kind of like this game. As you can see, there are some traditional zombies returning, as well as some traditional plants. But there is a slot meter that provides different power-ups for each of your plants. So, for example, the Puff Shroom and the Pea Shooter both share the attack trait, and the Sunflower shares the healing trait with other Sunflower types. The Zombies also have their types. There's Basic, Basic Boss, Intermediate, Intermediate Boss, and Tough, and of course Tough Boss. As you can see, there is a pole vaulting zombie in this game. Instead of pole vaulting over plants, it uses its pole vault thing, thing, whatever it's called, <laughs> to shoot it at plants. When you complete levels, you get unlockables that can help you level up your plants and their cards in the deck. This game is sort of like a card game, but mixed with PvZ. Now another feature that this game has is boss battles. As you can see, the first boss in the game is a slightly destroyed version of the far future boss from Plants vs. Zombies 2. There are loads of different types of plants, including the Popcorn Shooter, Tall Nut, Ch Bong Choy, Torchwood, and of course, Snow Pea, or Ice Pea. Or... That was a fail, like, jeez. <laughs> So there are lots of different types of plants on this. As you can see, sort of like the bottom middle, there are all of the different abilities. There's a new ability here, and it's the defend ability. So the chunk, the, the bong choy, the parrot thing, I don't know what that is, and then the tall nut all share the same defend ability. Oh, and so does the acorn, it looks like. So, yeah, interesting stuff. Also, you'll notice that the boss shoots like huge missiles, and that's different from what the boss actually does normally. So, yeah. You can also get different costumes for your plants, just like in Plants vs. Zombies 2. As you can see, the pea shooter right here has a like trucker hat costume, I think. So, yeah, that's cool, I guess. Now, remember the mechanic I said about the pole vaulting zombies shooting? There are pole vaulting tools at the plants. As you can see here, it's in action. Before, the thing died too easily, so you couldn't really see it that good. But even zombies have special power-ups. As you can see, the pole vaulting zombie can shoot uh, extra pole vaulting tools. I don't know what they're called. At the plants. And then they can do pretty good with that. Also to note is that the sunflower can still attack even though it's a healing plant. So, yay, I guess. Now more with the review. Okay guys, here 
is a mini boss battle. So instead of just having bosses, there are also mini boss battles, which you can encounter in levels. As you can see, there's a Gargantua. Just a normal one, nothing special, except in this game, it can use that special straight pole thing that it has to actually attack the plants with electricity. And as you can see, the pea shooter is doing a graphical glitch where it kind of shoots peas, not the right way, but that's what I'm talking about, the graphical glitches. And also, it looks like that pole vaulting zombie is standing on the gargantua, another graphical glitch. So, yeah, that's the gargantua. It drops a thing that you can collect. Cool. Uh, it drops actually lots of them. Wow. Yeah. In any PvZ game, everyone knows that Yetis are important. And this game does not fall short of having Yetis in the game. So, yes, there are Yetis in this game that you can randomly encounter. Sometimes it's planned, but... There are also Bucketheads, which Buckets they have two of okay and they also have the all-star zombies returning from pleasures of zombies garden warfare so this is how they would look if they were in pleasures of zombies 2 by the way which they might be coming but probably not because they're done making that game but here's the yeti which can throw snowballs and also the bone is hanging out of the arm because again graphical glitches guys so, the Yeti doesn't really have that many attacks. It can just throw snowballs at the plant in front of it. But, it can do that attack if it gets that power orb. So, now the person is clicking the healing button to heal all the other plants. And, you'll notice also when they win the level, all the plants shake around. I don't know, another graphical glitch. As you can see right there is the Yeti. As you can see here, guys, the player is about to go into the final boss battle in the American Suburbs world. So, it starts off pretty hard-ish. It's easy hard, it's mixed between them both. So, there are the pole vaulting zombies, which can shoot their pole vaulting things. Again, there are the healing orbs, which you can collect for the sunflower. Now there is a flag zombie. If you play any PvC games, you'll know that the flag zombie spawns big waves of zombies. And also in this game are big zombies. As you can see, that all-star zombie is a pretty big all-star zombie compared to the one on the bottom of the screen. Also, on the bottom of the screen is a pretty big basic zombie. Just if you want to know. I mean, that, that's, that's big compared to the other ones. So the big ones are tougher and can do more attack damage. But now... Should be the level soon, I guess. Okay, guys, this is where you will find the big boss of this world. Right here. As you can see, we're moving to the minecart with that p shirt with that sweet hat inside it. Just like you would do in the Wild West in PvZ2. So you can move it and it'll attack different rows, of course, as it would in PvZ2. Now, walnuts can block the zombies from getting past, but all plants have multiple health and cannot be eaten in one bite like the other Plants vs. Zombies games. As you can see, on the bottom, there is a walnut power-up, which can put an iron shield on the walnut. So let's select that. And now the walnut is going to use his power. And now, it's going to have more defense against it, and it'll take far less damage than it normally would without the iron shell. But here is the big baddie in this American suburbs world and he can shoot his tire with lots of force as you can see but that walnut still is not taking much damage because of that iron shell the sunflower still has its power up ready but none of the plants are severely damaged 
for us enough to use it. So there we go. There's lots of cases and the trucker Gargantua is going to use his power up again and he did again. So yes, this guy is tough to defeat. As you can see, we about got him halfway down right now. And now he's just playing catch with his tire, but now he's about to use his power up again. Every single plant except that walnut can use his power up. So the pea shooter should use his power up right now, pea shooter. But the trucker gargantua dies. So yes, that that's the boss. Just like in PvZ2, when you finish a world, you unlock a new world. This game is pretty similar because now we have the prehistoric world. Awesome, right? Yeah, so since we unlocked that world, we're now in it. This is the prehistoric world. Basically, it has ancient Egypt music, but that's okay. And so it looks like that the scenery is different. I mean, look at it. So the tiles are different. There's new zombies. Also, the minecart is still taking an appearance here. But that zombie's pretty cool. It looks like a tiki sort of zombie. But everything looks really cool. Like I like the tiles and the plants growing in the tiles. This is a pretty cool world. But I don't want to spend too much time on every single world and every single boss. So I'm just going to kind of take a brief look at every world. So the video doesn't become too long and boring. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay guys, so here is the Great Wall of China in Plants for Zombies All-Stars. As you can see, there's like the Venus fly trap thing. But now we're in 1080p, not in 480p. So hopefully that makes the video look a little bit clearer. So yeah, we're in this. As you can see, there is the sunflower with glasses, the walnut with the by to to by no bow bow tie there we go and then there is the sp uh, spike weed i think that's what it's called i haven't played these pvc games in a long time with 3d movie glasses also it looks like the great wall of china glasses i mean ugh, zombies are wearing like a little bucket on their head it's kind of cool so as you can see we're on the great wall of china basically and there, some of them have uh, pots on their head. I'm guessing that's the buckethead zombies. The music's pretty good. It sounds a little bit piratey, so I think it's from the pirate seas. But it doesn't sound exactly like it. So this is pretty cool going in. The minecart is still taking another appearance in this, so I think the minecart's gonna be there for all of the levels. This is pretty cool. I mean, like, if you look to the top right, I mean, not just the whole top, like, just the top, all the way up, you can see that the, the other part of the Great Wall of China. So, yes, there's the one of the mini bosses. It's the Messenger Zombie from Plants vs. Zombies Great Wall Edition, which is actually a game. I will be reviewing that soon. Don't worry, guys, I'm going to review every single Plants vs. Zombies game because I love this series. So, we're now using the little shroom boom guy, I always call it. But, yeah, that's his power up. I would say this level's probably my favorite. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay, everybody, we're in ancient Egypt. This looks almost exactly the same as the PS... No. PVZ2. Jeez, I'm getting tired. The PVZ2 map. So let's jump right into this after this very long loading screen. Okay. So as you can see, there's the pistachio. I love pistachios to eat, but pistachio in this game is pretty cute. It's it's a little tiny pistachio. So yes, there's a fly swatter. There's a scaredy shroom, but there are the mummy zombies returning from ancient Egypt in PVZ. So as you can see, it's basically ancient Egypt, just mixed with PVC All Stars because the tiles are like ancient Egypt tiles, and it's kind of cool comparing an already existing map from another Plants vs Zombies game, which is main series, 
to a Chinese spin-off game, which is completely different from the actual game. Let me guys know if you think that's kind of cool in the comments down below. But yeah, it looks like um, there's the torch zombies, the explorer zombies, and hopefully they don't watch Dora the Explorer to help them on their adventures, but yeah. Pistachio is also a healing plant, so that's kind of interesting. There are the Egyptian bucket heads, but you pretty much know all of the zombies in this. If you don't play BBZ2, your life is going to thank you. Really. It's, it's a good game. Just have a good device. It doesn't run on bad devices, but that's not the point. Let's, let's get out of the review, guys. Okay, everybody. This is the Kung Fu World. And if you haven't played PvC 2, Chinese version. Yes, there's a Chinese version that has exclusive worlds. This is one of those exclusive worlds. So this is the Kung Fu World, which comes straight from PvC 2 Chinese version. And yes, it comes with also exclusive plants like that peach guy that looks actually really angry in this game. Looks like a butt peach. And then there's the spike rock returning from the pirate season PvC 2 normal version. So again, this is an HD, this part of the video. Some of it won't be in HD, even though it says it's in HD. But, as you can see, this is a graphical glitch. Holy crud. Look at that. A cone bucket head. Do you see that? Holy Toledo. That's all I have to say. So there's like the, I remember fighting these in the Chinese version. The Chinese version is actually a good version. But there's the torch zombies from the Chinese version. It was actually kind of fun, actually. Just make sure you have a good device, just as like PVC 2. But I think that's pretty much it for the Chinese version. I mean, it looks like the Chinese version. The background looks exactly like with the background from the Chinese version. And also the tiles look the same too. So, yeah, this is a pretty good replica of it, I would say, if you haven't seen it. But most people haven't seen it yet. So there's gameplay in Arcade Go if you want to see that. So, yeah, this is a pretty cool level. So guys, here we go. This is a Plants vs. Zombies All-Stars Viking World. So, this is basically the ice world, I forgot what it's called. The Frostbite Caves, that's what it's called. From PvC 2, it's just called Viking for whatever reason that they decided. So yeah, get past the living stream with the tacos. So this is sort of unfinished, and it's one of those conveyor belt levels. So as you can see, that's not a normal bong choy. That's like a completely upgraded version of bong choy. And there are all these new plants from the Chinese version and stuff. The double, the twin-headed snapdragon. Popcorn Palt, um, and the Viking Zombies, so this is cool because it's not the world, but it's like the pinata party, I guess, so that that's something small to look at, so yeah, keep an eye out for it. Okay guys, I have a question for you. Have you ever asked the question, I want to see a musical dance concert in a Plants vs. Zombies game, and I have the answer. Well... You literally, if you, if you really wanted to, you could do it twice because in Plants vs. Zombies 2, you can do it in one of the videos. And then here in Plants vs. Zombies All-Stars, this is one of the events that was going on when I started playing. So, well, let's get into this. This is pretty cool. So, it is the final boss. Here we go. This is a singing competition. But the thing is, if we wait a little bit, you can see like there's like the dog plant thing. That I'll show you all the pictures later in the episode. But there is lots of content in this game, guys. Look at this. But I'll show you guys what you really want to see. Okay, guys. Here is the singing contest with the singing zombie. So this is one of the best bosses I've ever seen in a video game. 
Because guess what? If we put the volume up a little bit on the YouTube thing, eventually you'll hear him play the piano. So, here we go. It actually doesn't do the sound that it was supposed to do. Want to see that? It's a pretty cool sound. So, yeah. It's a remix of the... There's a zombie on my last thing is what it's called. So, yeah. That's pretty cool. Just want to show you this, guys. Okay, guys. So, as I said, this is the gallery of all of the plants in PVZ All-Stars. This is on the Plants vs. Zombies wiki. So, there's a droplet shooter and... That's a downgrade of the ice shooter, so just take a look. Maybe you'll recognize them. There's also a tomato, which is, it, it just looks hilarious. So, there's the pineapple pin. The cantaloupe pot. Like, seriously, some of these are cool. Like, orange. Like, orange! I love orange! Like, cauliflower. Like, you don't think that's going to be in a Planter Zombies game. A banana, onion. Like, these aren't in the Planter Zombies game. Look at this. Like, eggplant. Look at this, guys. Apples. Like, there's a lot of new plants. I'm just going to scroll through this all. But, the returning plants are these plants that you'll recognize from other PVZ games. But these are games that are all in other PVZ games, just remixed with their new all-star kind of graphical style and then the plants costumes that we all saw so yeah I'm gonna go look at the upgrade chart or whatever it's called so I'll be back okay guys so these are the tears so like ex for example the sunflower tier one tier two tier three like the triplet sunflower is completely new the pea shooter thing those are all there but the diamond spike weed is new Cherry Bomb, Saturn Peach Bomb, Walnut Bomb. I like the Fan Blover because it's like a fan. That's, that's really cool. Obviously, these plants that we have right here, the shrooms, are all in previous games. The Kernel Pot, Popcorn Pot. I mean, the Popcorn Pot and Cob Cannon are new. Um, I think these two are pretty cool. The Then there's like the Devil Chili and the Small Pepper for the Jalapeno. So you can see, like, it's tier 1, tier 2, tier 3 stuff. So, like, Troy Ben, Bonk Troy, Troy Ja, Jai, G, I don't know. The he, I, I, the holographic tonal is pretty much the holographic walnut, except it's just tonal in this game. So there's the melon slice pitcher, which is kind of cute. It's a little, little melon pulp. So, <laughs> this is just funny. Look at that. But look at all of these plants here. By the way, the foxtail used to be a lion tail. They just changed it for whatever reason. But I mean, look at all of these guys. So these are like the tear ones and tear twos again. So yeah, I just thought you would like that. So yeah, I think we're done with the review. Okay, guys, overall, I rate Plants for Zombies All Stars a solid 7 out of 10. It's a fun game to get into. It's not like a traditional Plants vs. Zombies game. The story is fun. The events are fun. The characters are expansive and colorful. The environments are also expansive and colorful. The only problem is most people don't know Chinese that are going to read or listen to this review. So that's going to be a problem. But yeah. Let me know, guys. If you have enjoyed this review, hit that like button. Tell me in the comments down below if there's anything I missed. And maybe you could do your own review on this game. I would love to see that. Link that in um, the comments too. And consider subscribing to Boss Game Plays for videos like this on your homepage. Almost all the time. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye!